Hello my little trade lessons and welcome back to another episode of Zoocraft. It is another beautiful morning in the zoo crafting world and today we are going to try to get the foxes. <laughs> So I had an idea between uh, recordings that we should go on a little scavenger hunt adventure to see if foxes are naturally spawning in the world or not. So I thought we might as well head kind of through the spruce-like area, um, maybe even across the water a little bit just to see if there's anything out there. If not, we will go ahead and just <laughs> ask Jessa to get them for us, but um, if we're able to get them ourselves, that'd be pretty cool. I don't see any over here. They don't look like regular foxes, to be fair. They look, um, a little bit more... Uh, they're a little smaller and a little less square, I think, is what they look like. If I'm remembering correctly. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh! <gasps> It's a big mountain. We'll have to explore that later. Now, apologies if my voice is a little bit scratchy today. Um, my voice is just getting used to waking up. This is uh, the first thing I'm doing this morning, so. <laughs> it may be a moment before I sound normal. <gasps> Guys, I think that's a fox. Okay, there's a bunch of different colorations of foxes. Um, a building? Mysterious. Okay, there's a bunch of different colorations of foxes in this world, and I believe that is one of them. I kind of want to go check out the building real quick, though. Here, let's let's. I heard a monster. Oh no! Here, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick some of these cherries actually, so we can plant a cherry tree closer to our house. There we go. They also have hazelnuts. Wow, there's like so much over here. It's almost like someone is tending these and like planting them. Weird. Oh, sorry, little guy. I think I'm scaring him. Okay. Regardless, let's figure out what's in here. Uh. Don't, it kind of seems abandoned. It's like really overgrown. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Foxes. Oh, hi. Um, sorry to interrupt. Uh, oh, uh, hi. May I help you? What are you doing in my house? I'm going to be honest. I thought it was abandoned. Um, I didn't know anyone was living out here or this close to where I am, I guess. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I, I work at the zoo that is being built nearby. Oh, the zoo? Jess is working with you on that, right? She's my sister. Oh, okay, this feels way less awkward now. Yes, I am her main zookeeper right now. Um, we're actually, we just finished a fox habitat and I was trying to find foxes and well, it looks like you got your hands full of foxes right now. Fox habitat? Well, I actually have these foxes up here that just recently got in a fight with some other foxes. They might enjoy having a place to themselves. They're the runts and get picked on a lot. Oh, poor guys. I'm so sorry. Oh, I know, I'm a stranger. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll- you shall warm up eventually. Uh, yeah, no, they- I think they'd really enjoy it over there. I- I, I like your hair, by the way. Uh, very, uh, pink. Thanks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess? I I'm Bennett, and you are? Izumi. Pleasure to meet you. I should get going. See ya. I'll come visit the foxes once they're settled in. Okay, Fern, Felix, and Fawn. Are you guys gonna follow me? Can you guys come down here? Uh, here, we might have to... I don't want them to drop too far. We might have to just... Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, what do they eat? I'm not sure. Do you want some meat? Oh, no. I... I'm so sorry. Okay. Let's get them down here, and then we shall... Come on. Here, let me undo you, so I don't end up hurting you. So I can go up here and hopefully get them down. Don't worry, I'll fix your floor, Bennett. Okay, come on. Come on. I see you, Felix. I know you want to come down. You guys are gonna have your own little house. Come on. I don't know really what you eat in this mod. Do you eat berries? I'm not sure. No, you don't. Come on. Oh God, <laughs> now I'm hurting myself. Okay, there you go. Okay, that guy went down really easily. Come on, Felix. I believe in you. Oh, jeez, way less easy, way less easy. Okay, uh, oh, wrong level. One second. I'm so sorry, Bennett. There you go, and there you go. 
And let's get Fawn also on one. So we got Fawn, Fern, and Felix. That is adorable. Okay, come on, guys. You guys aren't really good at cooperating and doing one at a time, are you? Okay, let's get you out of here. These little guys be picking on you. Let's get you out of here. And into your own little house. Now, we are going to have to cross water, so I'm going to make a little dirt bridge for you guys. So you guys don't have to worry about getting your little paws wet. Come on. You guys are going to really love the fox habitat. It. I worked really hard on it, and I think that you guys will really enjoy it. <gasps> oh no! Come up here. Come on. Why? Why are you guys like this? Come on. Come back up here. Fern, come on. God, this is so nerve-wracking. I'll build a real bridge later on, guys. Do not worry. Oh goodness gracious. Please don't fall, guys. Okay, okay. Just a little bit further, guys. There we go. We're back on land. We got this. Let's go to your new home. I think they're really gonna like their new home. At least I hope so. Let's go. I do need to look up what you guys eat in this mod. Uh, maybe, maybe apples. It's probably something in base game since you guys are on your own mod. Separate from all the others. <gasps> Here you guys are! We're almost there! <gasps> you guys went one at a time! I'm so proud of you! There you go, guys! You guys now have your own space! <gasps> Run around! Have fun! Yay! You guys are gonna do great. See over here, you have all this space over here. You have this whole water area, you can swim around. Um, I'm actually going to make this a little less deep so you guys can't drown. Baby proofing it for you guys. And enjoy your new house. I hope you guys like it. Also, not in the last video, but the video before, one of you guys commented to add um, some foxholes and rocks around, and I think that is a very good idea. So I'm gonna add just a couple little foxholes um, that are pretty easy to get into, just like that, that they can kind of hide inside. Um, and I'm also going to go find some more rocks. Um, you guys suggested to use stone buttons, the stone paths, stuff like that. Stuff like that. So that is what I will be doing. Because we have this big foxhole over here, but we might want little ones as well, just for them to be able to just nestle in. There you guys go. Let's see, roll call. Oh, wow, you guys really like that little hole, don't you? I mean, I guess you like foxholes, so I'm not surprised, really. Let's make it a little bit more of like an actual hole. There you guys go. Let's see, okay, all three of you. Fern, Fawn, Felix, good job. Okay, now, don't be trying to get out. There we go. Oh no, I see you, get away from my fox babies. Oh god, oh god, I'm being attacked. No, no, let me run home. Run, and sleep. Ah, there we go. Another beautiful morning. Okay, so I looked a little bit into the fox mod that I have. It is called the Out Fox mod. And um, I couldn't find what they eat in this mod, but I did find that they actually um, help you mine. So that is like super duper cute and I might end up like letting them help me out with that. Oh God, Enderman, no thank you. We need to put some more torches down around this area. There we go. I'll try to figure out what they eat but they can track down resources, which is pretty cool. So, thank you, Creeper, for exploding my beautiful zoo. Very nice of you. And that doesn't touch the ground. Okay, we'll just, we'll just make it look like it does. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. There we go, totally good as new. <laughs> Let's see our little foxes. Hello? <gasps> there you guys are. Good morning. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I might put some ores around their deal so that they can kind of look around for ores because I know that they like to do that in the mod. So, we might end up doing that. Now let's check on our little wolf friends. Wolf friends. There's a chicken. Oh, goodness. I really do need to get some more torches. Oh God, I didn't know I was that low in health. Oh my God, that was so stressful. I need to eat. Well, now I have a bow, but it's like really broken. So probably won't be. Oh my God, look at me now. Oh god. Let me go inside there and see if they're gonna kill that chicken or not. Oh. Hello. Hello, everyone. You guys, uh, hunting through the wall again? Why don't you just kill the chicken that's in here? I, I'm- Look, buddy, I, I, I'm really sorry, but, uh, I don't know how you got in here. Wow, they gave me no chicken? Really? There you go. Maybe they're just a little hangry. Here, I'll get you guys some chicken real quick. One second. I think I need a sword, because I'm not really getting any meat from these chickens. I don't want to kill them for no reason. We also need to get another chest because we're running out of room here. Chickens, hello. I'm sorry, but you must be sacrificed. Okay, we got some raw... Chev... Chev... Chevion? Chevion? 
goat meat, I think is what that is. And we also have some pork. So I know it's not enough for everyone. So I probably should wait and get some more. Okay, we have quite a bit of meat now. It should be enough to feed all of our buddies. I'm sorry, other animals, but we have to take care of the little animals in here. Ooh, fish. Okay, so we also have fish now as well. Whee! Hello, buddies. You guys want some meat? Are you guys not as hangry anymore? No? I tried my best. If you guys know how I should be able to make them not so angry all the time at animals outside of there without taming them, let me know. I tried to make the walls thicker, it still didn't work. Maybe if I give them a roof, it'll work? I'm not sure. You guys still going good? You guys are so sweet. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. Where's the third one? Where's Felix? Felix? Um... Oh, there you are, Felix. You were just hiding. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Do you guys eat chicken? No. Do you guys eat fish? Possibly? No. Okay. In the last episode, I asked you all to comment on if we should have a butterfly aviary or a pig habitat. And the winner was... I actually don't know. Let me check the comments. <laughs> One vote for butterfly habitat. One vote for pigs. One vote for butterfly. Another vote for butterfly. Another vote for pigs. It was still a very close vote, but butterfly won by one vote. So, we will be doing a butterfly habitat next, and then very after that, we will be doing a pig habitat so that you guys still get both. Let's go ahead and take a nap. Ah, another beautiful morning in ZooCraft. And I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. In the very next episode, we will be building our butterfly habitat. So stay tuned. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.